Hi everyone, in this lesson we will now be applying joints to our parts in order for us to create this SN assembly. I'm going to our main file and right click, selecting show all components. Now if you carefully examine our 2D drawing, our base component is our plate. Now as you can see, all our parts are all reference to our plate, so this is obviously and should be our base component. And as an additional quick tip, the base component should always be grounded. Grounded meaning all of its degrees of freedom are all locked. So I'm going to right click on our plate 1 and select ground. So notice if I select this part, I can move this one. Same with our crosslink. I can move this one as well. And for our plate, this one cannot be moved. Let's now apply joints by heading up to assemble and selecting joint. So take note, the shortcut is letter J. And I'm going to select capture position. Now for our first component, so this cylinder has a length of 15. And if you remember, the thickness of our plate is 15 as well. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hover over this cylinder. Now I'm going to press and hold control. The other faces that my cursor hovers over is not highlighted. So meaning I am fully locked in this surface or feature. So I'm still holding control. Now I can select this joint, left click. And I'd like to attach this one here. So moving over to this face, I'm going to hit control and hold and select this joint. Left click. Now for the motion type, this one should be revolute. So notice. The Revolute Mate is now applied, and from here, I can now hit OK. Now, I can select this one and move to see the effect of the Revolute Joint. Now, our link has two instances, so we have an option to create another version of this one from scratch, or I can move over and select Link hitting control C. I'm going to select our main file, left click and control V. And I'm going to select capture position. And move this planar handle here. And finally hit OK. So we now have another instance of link. And from here I can hit J to grab our joint tool. Moving over here and holding control, selecting this joint. Moving to our plate, holding control, selecting this joint, left click. The type, make sure it's revolute, rotate, and Z axis. I can also click animate. And finally hit OK. Next, let's attach cross link to our links, so hitting J once more, hovering over here to this face, holding control and selecting this joint. And on our cross link, hovering over this face, holding control and selecting this joint, hitting OK. And finally, I can hit J once more, hover over this face, select this joint, hover over this face, holding control and selecting this joint. Finally, hitting OK, going to home view, and I can move and drag this one to see the effect of assembly joints. So congratulations for completing 
your first assembly model. See you on the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge. Awesome!